Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. Certainly this is an arena which will satisfy those who enjoy their architectural design and style. The Allianz Parquet here in Sao Paulo. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Robert Lewandowski. He's just about the perfect all-round striker. Not least because he can finish equally well with both feet, Peter. It's not all about his finishing, though. He's always on the shoulder, looking for that ball in behind. And that prevents the opposition defence from getting too high or indeed getting too comfortable. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Lindelof to play it forward. Juan Mata has brushed off the ball there. Jerome Boateng. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Philippe Coutinho. Boateng tries to switch the play. And it's Canabri. What an adventurous run from a defender. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. And he's there to clear it. Out to the right. Wan-Bissaka on the right now, what's on? Nicely controlled! McTominay Andreas Pereira It's a loose ball Aimed in towards the centre Coleman. There is the half-time whistle. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still 0-0.
Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the Aratu leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing around the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Things have got underway here pretty promptly. Forward it goes. Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This is the Allianz Parque, home of Palmeiras since 2014 and a very good-looking home to boot. The action has already started. to intervene and dispel the growing danger now the counter tries to get it forward quickly oh, no that's not the ball he wanted well there's a lot of movement out wide now yeah you can certainly see that well i think it's a move to open the game up more whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now Forward it goes. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Castan cuts it out. Midway through the first half and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end it'll have been forgotten.
What an adventurous run from a defender. Gets into a dangerous position. He's made sure that that won't get through. Hoists it forward. Felipe Melo with a good steal, well played. Looking to break out here. Marcos Rocha tries to locate someone up front. Now can he finish? And the half-time whistle goes. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. And this is one of the most spectacular new venues, certainly in terms of design, it is the Allianz Parque. We have already started here. Nola. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to run. This was gone, that's uh, foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. to get it away play for a throw good idea just poorly executed Danula 
River Plate going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Hoists it forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Away from immediate danger. That's just an example of over committing, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. There's a long ball. Uh, needed a better pass there. Daniel Alves. Juan Fran. Forward pass. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. And the ball's come out! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Hernanes pulls short, crosses into the area. Ball. Shoots! There it is! And Sao Paulo score first. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Sao Paulo draw first blood here. Yeah, and they know there's... And the whistle goes for half-time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But that it still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half-time. And that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. 
is a stunning arena. It's the Allianz Parquet, the facade, absolutely distinctive, a place out on its own. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Roberto gets it back Barcelona are experts at this stylish possession based game well we're talking tiki taka uh, a lot of short crisp passing great leap harmlessly behind ok it's come to nothing but it's a warning of further threat on the break Forward it goes. Roberto. Boca Juniors are seeing more of the ball, but still aren't carrying much goal threat. Roberto. Battles to win it back. And very necessary. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. PK never really looked sure of what he was doing, and by holding on to it for so long, he duly lost it. Zarate. And it's Zarate. Out to the left it goes. It's one! A real chance and a real let-off. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Hoists it forward. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. And it's Zarate. Over to the left. Plays it out to the wing. Was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class wage? Decent effort as the first half draws to a close. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. The midway point of the game.
So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. Certainly this is an arena which will satisfy those who enjoy their architectural design and style. The Allianz Parquet here in Sao Paulo. A mouth-watering game this between two very high-quality sides. A trip for everybody here. Oh, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. We have already started here. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Miralem Pjanic. He plays in that deep midfield position, Peter, which allows him to take his time to, to pick out a pass to the forward line. He also delivers a, a fantastic set piece, something that his manager had in mind when making the signing, I'm sure. Yeah, I'd have picked him to no doubt the fans feel much the same way. Hoists it forward. Could be a chance here. Has a goal! Good clearance and very necessary. Juan Bissaka. Keeps everyone guessing. And it's hoisted clear. Beautifully done. And it's Juan Mata. Mata plays it out to the flank. Matuidi plays it forward quickly. Dybala. Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This is a stunning arena. It's the Allianz Parquet, the facade absolutely distinctive a place out on its own You're just joining us we are already on the way Jim you've played in games of this nature who can make the difference yeah Joshua Kimmich in many ways the ultimate modern fullback in that he contributes just as much offensively as he does defensively 
he seems to have a great instinctive understanding of when to move forward and and that means he rarely gets caught out of position on the counter-attack he should be a key player for this team yes getting the best out of him will count for so much quarter of an hour played no efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good and they're not Schuller very firm in standing his ground there it is a tough full contact contest and here's Lewandowski He's had a go! Tries to switch the play. Tried to play it through. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Still, rather frustratingly, it is nil-nil. Tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Lewandowski. Played out to the right. Gnabry. Now it's Lewandowski has a goal! A real chance and a real let-off. I'm trying to find the right word here. Does dreadful work? Final action of the first half. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. An engrossing half, but we're.